In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Open Daylight on a Docker container in GNS3 and integrate Open Daylight with OpenFlow switches all running in Docker containers in GNS3. So the first step is to update our references, so apt get update. References are now updated. I'll type clear. What we'll do now is install Java. I've put the commands below this video so that you can use them in your own installation. We need to set the Java home. We then need to install wget. In this example, I'm using Boron SR2. Depending on when you watch this video, you may want to download a newer version of Open Daylight. But the command is wget and then the URL to the file on Open Daylight. On the Open Daylight website, you can go to Menu, Use ODL, click Download ODL, and you'll be able to see the details of the various versions available. So all I did was copy this link to use in wget. So at the time of this recording, this was the latest version of ODL available but there may be a newer release when you watch this video. So simply wait for the download to complete. So the file is quite large, it's about 407 meg. In this example, that's now successfully been downloaded. So ls shows us the zip file. We now need to install unzip, and then we can unzip the ODL zip file, or rather unzip. The file is now unzipped. So Alice shows us that we have a directory that we can navigate to, so cd and the directory, and then we need to type dot forward slash bin forward slash caraf to start up ODL. The ODL server is now started. We need to install various features such as REST conf, the layer two switch, MD cell API docs, and DLUX, which is the UI, or graphical user interface of ODL. There are different options. Please refer to the Open Daylight documentation for more information about various options available in ODL but you simply need to wait now for ODL to install the various services. But what we can do at this point is point our web browser to Open Daylight. So the IP address of the controller is 192.168.122.153. We need to point to port 8181 forward slash index dot html. And once the server has started up, we will be able to navigate to that URL. So we can now see that ODL has booted. And now we get an ODL prompt. So we can log in with the username by default, it's admin, and the password is admin. And there is our ODL graphical user interface. So what we can do now is go back to our OpenFlow switches, and we can configure the switches to talk to the Open Daylight controller on port 6633. So when I click reload on the controller, we can see one switch. I'll do something similar on the second switch. 
So click reload, we should see our two switches and there you go. The two OpenFlow switches have now registered with Open Daylight. When we use the command OVS VSCTL show, we can see that the switch is connected to the controller. And when we look at the flow table, we can see that flows have been written to the OpenFlow switches running within GNS3. So what we've done in this topology is configured two open vSwitch switches running in containers for communication with open daylight, which is also running in a Docker container. In this example, open daylight is running on an Ubuntu container within GNS3. We can view the open daylight graphical user interface by using a Firefox virtual machine in GNS3 and we can view the OpenFlow tables on the Open vSwitch switches running within Docker containers. We have created an OpenFlow network virtually within GNS3. This is a very simple topology, but hopefully this video has shown you how to install Open Daylight and specifically how to install Open Daylight within a Docker container in GNS3. I hope you found this video useful. If it's been of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.